Let's mount the tank now. Uh, what I've done is I've taped this uh, wire up front here so that it's ready for the to hook onto the gauge. And then my fuel line is hanging out here. I want to make sure all this stuff's kind of ready to go so when I slide it on I can see and I know what, what to do. So there's a, there's a connector here we're going to have to connect on to. And then don't forget your little vacuum line down here for the, uh, for the carburetor. The fuel injected ones may have different stuff. So anyway, uh, make sure that that's done. And then I'll make sure that my tank's got all the grommets and stuff in the back. Got the rubber pad underneath. If you have any questions on this stuff too, Bike Mandit's website, if you go to the OEM uh, section, you can look at all this stuff on the exploded view. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now what I do before I slide the tanks on is I make sure my handlebars are straight. And then I put a little uh, soapy water on these rubber grommets here in front. That way they'll slide, the tank will slide on a little bit better. So let's go ahead and put this uh, bad boy on the bike. Don't forget to lift your tank up in the back and uh, plug that connector in under there. That's, that's really important. You don't want to get all that hooked up and then forget that. I've mounted the tank. Uh, don't forget to tighten the rear bolt back there. Uh, now there's two things on the left side that you need to make sure of. Make sure you put your fuel line back on. And then don't forget the little uh, vacuum uh, line that goes on the bottom of the carburetor. That's very important because without that vacuum line hooked up, uh, you'll never get gas to your carburetion. So. And I don't know about the fuel injection, how that works, but on the carbureted models, make sure you hook up that vacuum line. Uh, on the right side, uh, I showed you that it's got that uh, wire, the connector on the bottom to hook up the electrical. Make sure that's hooked up. And then I put the uh, gauge back on. Make sure you plug the wire into the gauge underneath before you put that on. So that's pretty much it on the gas tank. Uh, oh, now one very, very important thing again. Make sure that your handlebar doesn't hit get too close here. You don't want that to slam over and hit the tank and put a dent in it. Do that on both sides. Make sure it's uh, not too close. Then later we can adjust our bars.